Y'all heard about this war that's going on, right? With Iran and Pakistan. Not Pakistan, Iran and Israel. There's been a lot going on this past weekend with these two. And, you know, before you guys start calling me an anti-Semite, before I get canceled because I, I feel some type of way about it, I got to get this off my chest. War is pointless. War doesn't bring anything but destruction. It doesn't bring anything but tragedy and a bunch of sadness that we all have to deal with throughout the rest of our lives. It's the saddest, the most dumbest, the most, um, how can I say this? War is crazy. And honestly, what is going on out in the streets of Israel, Gaza, Ukraine, Russia? We're seeing a bunch of people put their lives on the line for a country or a town or a state that does not really care nothing about them. And we're seeing a bunch of people die because of it. And it's extremely sad. But that's not the that's not the point that I wanted to bring up because this in this video, we already know this war has started. We already know it's unfolding and there's pretty much nothing people can do until everyone's dead or they come to a a, a peace treaty. But in the US now there are protesters blocking off the streets to voice their opinion on how they feel about this war. And they are not pro-Israel. They are pro-Palestine. Let's tune into the video and see what's going on in the streets of California again with the protesting. Let's tune into the video, y'all. Oh. Happening right now in the WRL Live Center. I want to take you live out to San Francisco right now. You can see a lot of police activity. This is just at the entrance of the Golden Gate bridge. Uh, there was a protest on there, all southbound laying down because of protesters. Uh, you can actually see it here. It is still blocked. So a lot of emergency vehicles here. Uh, traffic moving very slowly going in the other direction. But this started about 1030 this morning, our time. Dozens of protesters there stopped their cars. They're uh, demanding the U.S. stop arming and funding Israel and the war with Gaza. Uh, this is a breaking situation. I'll stay on top of this and bring you the latest from the Live Center. A lot of frustrated drivers there. U.S. officials are worried after Iran's drone and missile strikes on Israel over the weekend. They don't want Israel to respond hastily and possibly provoke a wider regional conflict. NBC's Bree Jackson reports President Biden is urging restraint. Before we hear what's going on with them, Iran launched over 300 different types of missiles and slash drones to blow up a bunch of what Israel had. Luckily, they struck a lot of these things down because they took hours to get over to uh, Israel. But the saddest part about this is Israel says that they're going to respond. Israel said that they are going to retaliate and it's going to take a little bit of time for them to retaliate, but they are going to retaliate. And if you guys look at the map to see how big Iran is compared to Israel, why would they dare entertain some nonsense like that? I think war is like, it's like kind of suicide. It's kind of suicidal. It's like you're, you're going out there knowing that you're going to most likely kill yourself or get, get killed. It's suicide. It's suicide. And the U.S. seems to always stick their nose in somebody else's business. Somebody else's business. World War Three is coming, y'all, man. I said it first. That's all I got to say. Let's continue. and praising the U.S. airmen who shot down Iranian drones and missiles. Hey, you guys are the best in the whole damn world, man. 
The president met with G7 leaders Sunday and urged restraint as Israel considers its response. We will take whatever it takes to protect and defend our people. The 9,602nd meeting of the Security Council is called to order. During an emergency United Nations Security Council meeting, the UN Secretary General called for a de-escalation of tensions. Now is the time to defuse and de-escalate. Now is the time for maximum restraint. There are growing concerns. They've been saying that about Russia and Ukraine for the past year. They've been saying that about Russia and Ukraine since the thing started, and they still fighting. It's been almost two years now. How long you guys think this war is going to last? Let me know. Earns that Iran's attack over the weekend could trigger a wider war in the Middle East. The system is an escalating conflict. And there are renewed calls from lawmakers and the Biden administration for Congress to pass a bipartisan aid package that stalled in the House. The fact that the United States and Israel were cooperating, and this was in planning for weeks, shows that our commitment to Israel's security is ironclad. Get it on the floor, let's get it voted on, so that not only Israel can get additional resources to defend itself, which they clearly need, but that Ukraine can as well. A vote on a national security spending package is expected this week. House Speaker Mike Johnson said details of a package are still being hammered out, but he will push for more funding for Israel. Well, that's good to hear. That is good to hear. The U.S. is going to spend more money. They're going to print more money and they're going to support Israel. And I have nothing wrong with them supporting Israel, of course, because, you know, Israel is the underdog. They do need the help. They do need the resources. Um, but at some point in time, we all got to look at ourselves and say, how did we get to this point to where we don't mind sacrificing each other's lives to make a point? How did we get here? How do we get here? It's sad what's really going on in these streets. It's really, really sad. And, you know, we're praying that the world does not, you know, blow itself up. But it's happened before. And I'm pretty sure it's happening again. And this is, this is, this is. I sometimes are speechless.